term that you'll often hear uh, in binoculars is uh, phase correction or phase coatings. And you might be wondering what that is. Well, uh, phase correction and phase coatings is something that really only applies to a roof prism binocular. And now, the, now what that is, is if you actually were to take a roof prism out of a binocular and look at it and trace the, the physical path that the light makes through that prism, you'll notice that that path actually overlaps itself. Um, an easy way to describe it is, is like a, a roller coaster that does a loop. The light is kind of looping over itself and so it actually intersects with itself at one point in that prism. That intersection of light can cause interference if the light is not in phase when it's crossing over itself. So what the coatings do is they ensure that the light is in phase when those two light paths cross. Um, what that practically does for you, uh, if you look at a binocular that doesn't have phase correction as opposed to one that does have a phase correction, is you're going to notice that the one with phase correction is going to have more contrast, especially on uh, um, fine detail and edges, for instance, um, you know, antlers on an animal. Um, you're going to notice much finer detail to pick out those antlers with a binocular that has phase correction as opposed to one that doesn't. So it's important if you're going to um, be picking out a roof prism binocular and you're going to be viewing long distances, you might want to look at getting a binocular that has that phase correction. With a portal prism binocular, it's not something that you need to worry about because the light path never crosses over itself. And so it's really not necessary to have phase correction at all in a portal prism.